But before we get into that one, why don't you tell the audience a little bit more about our runners? Yeah, happy Sorry to. to it's a great mate, loves playing volleyball. Um, or if he's on a team, or if he's planning on doing that in college. Uh, either way, volleyball, super fun, super cool. He documents his projects on a YouTube channel, Nathaniel Black. That is super cool. We obviously love YouTube here. Yes. Keep doing that. Good. Um, Himanta is an artist, apparently. Um, writes poems and makes sketches. Also the first employee of Aratech. I love the double A. Um, 3D printing, design, and label services. So I wonder if that's his company or if it's somebody else's company and he was the first person hired. First person to jump in and say, yo, we can do this. <laughs> We can do it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for that review, Aaron. It's really cool to get to know these runners a little bit more to kind of understand where they're coming from. So cool that we've got people from all over the world as well. But now the time for talk is over. Now it's time to battle. So here we go. Here we go. This next CAD battle between Fusion 360 and SolidWorks, the United States and Nepal, begins in three, two, one. Go! What is the mass of this part in 0.xxx pounds? I know the runners love it when the models come out in English units. The unit system is inches IPS. The material is 1060 aluminum alloy. The density is 2700 kilograms per cubic meter. Be sure to grab a screenshot. Our runners have already grabbed a screenshot. They're already getting into it. I don't want to miss the action. So here we go. Let's flip over and see how they approach this. Looks like Great Nate is taking a look at this thing from the top down, kind of coming up with a footprint of this thing. Looks like maybe he's recognizing symmetry as well. He's just going to draw half the model. What do you think about that approach, Aaron C? I am all about it on square features. Sometimes I see people try to do symmetry with circular features and, you know, whatever works for you. But it doesn't work for me very well because I find it a lot easier to draw a circle than an arc. Yes. Very, very observant. Sometimes when you make that circle, then you run into problems later when you try to mirror it, and then you have to cut the model in half and then mirror it. And looks yeah, like yeah, well, you gotta be careful with your end conditions too. Like if you do a revolved cut, like I don't know, mirroring yeah. mirroring cuts gets tricky. And Great Nate looks like he he decided. I thought maybe he was gonna just model half the part and mirror it, but it looks like he just decided to mirror the sketch. So that's always a an inflection point when you're creating these three D models as well. You know, do you want to just model half the part and mirror it? Do you want to model the sketch? You know, half the sketch and mirror it? Do you want to model the whole sketch? We see Himanta NP is deciding to model the whole sketch, and then he's gonna try and uh, uh, bring that out into an extrusion. So I like both of these approaches. I think that where these runners are gonna run into a little bit of a challenge is when they get to that next feature, that brace or that rib because the customer the note on the print simply says the rib should be touching that circular edge now what does that even mean well these runners are gonna have to figure it out yeah toby i'm dubious here uh a i hate when you do this i hate when you do parts that have ribs that go up to the top of arcs yep um because i still don't really know a great way to do it and i feel like half the time celebrates lets me and half the time it doesn't and we're seeing um, great nate run into that right now we just saw his preview yeah. kind of was like ah, oh, i don't know yeah but usually the tolerance allows it but you've got a really tight tolerance on this one so i'm yeah super, super curious to see how this how this ends up yeah we're gonna see how this one goes it's very interesting it looks like great nate was able to get through that first hurdle was able to get that first brace in place. We'll see what ends up happening with the second one. We'll see if he gets kind of the same type of errors or if he he learned uh, he learned how to get around it. Well, it looks like he was able to get around that quite quick. Wow, Aaron, see this this model looks like it's just about done. We might be seeing an answer soon here. It is certainly way faster than I would have been. Yeah, faster than I was. I, I even knew how to make it, even when I was just checking the answer. <laughs> Victor K in the chat says, got it. Wow, Victor K also screaming through here. A lot of llamas in the chat. Tough lot of llamas. Old friend of the show. Old personal friend as well. Former roommate. A lot of llamas in the chat. Tough, my man. I like Monta's use of the counterbar tool for that. Um, you didn't really call it out that way. You, uh, or I like his use of the hole wizard. Yeah, great, um, great name. You really call it out the way you normally do hole wizards. So you got to kind of run all over the print trying to find the dimensions for it yeah knowing how to do it a really clean knowing how to do a, a like whole wizard and knowing how to utilize that uh custom sizing for the whole wizard can really really help you can really really save you a lot of time a lot of effort in these types of challenges because you can just yeah. kind of go through 
Looks like we've got an answer coming in here, yes. but is it right? Is it right? So Nathaniel Black, great Nate, coming in with an answer. 0.793 pounds. And that is correct. And so, guys, we have a winner here for our first matchup. Congratulations. Wow, wow, wow. Great Nate coming in, winning it all. Here we go. Let's Great go. Job, Great Nate coming through, locking down victory and moving on to the round of eight. Great Nate 08 moving to the round of eight. That's what we like to see. Wow, 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 wow. Good game to Great Nate. Good game to Himanta NP. Good game really to both of our runners. Thank you guys so much. That was, that was awesome watching that first kind of kickoff match there. Kind of a tricky part. And uh, GG to our winner. GG to Nate. GG Nate. And GG to both of our runners. Thank you so much.